Alright, with V Shinemon just ended, and with Vanguard If continuing the trend of remaking old classic units, I want to give out my personal wish list of cards to be remade. So I'm going to be giving out 10 cards I want to see remade, and the only rules are it, any cards that showed up in 2011, G or Manga that hasn't been printed yet. And how I ranked up the list is the more likely cards will be on the top and the ones that are less likely are just going to be at the bottom. So other than that, let's just get started with my top 10 list. And spoiler alert, I mostly chose boss units because they represent the deck. So for number 10, Evil God Bishop Gastille. Now why I said Gastille is because... Eska Hibino, the big sister of Arta Hibino, the one who uses Gastille, showed up in the anime, so I do not understand why Arte was not a major character for the Shinemon arc, and I would have liked to see Gastille in the show. But it's just too bad he never even got a line in the first place. Number 9, Blue Way Marshall Valios. This one had a very likely chance of actually showing up because Ruga was in the show. It's just too bad they ended up making him main last card Revon instead, which I do like the card, it's just really weird that they decided to replace his main ace. Number 8, Dimensional Robo Die Kaiser. First off, I like mechs, so that's why I wanted to actually see this show up in the anime, but instead we got Die Lander. Number 7, Shiranui and Armoruda. Now why these two are on the list together is mainly because they were both introduced at Vanguard EX at the same time, and I was really hoping a remix of Shiranui and Amaruda, especially with Infinity Cradle including both of their clans in it. Which, unfortunately, we never got remakes of, even though they were starting to do G character remakes. Number 6, Blue Wave Dragon Tetra Drive Dragon. Now why I put this on the list, because I thought this was actually going to be the likely card to be the second wave of Aqua Force support as the cover card for Leon, and it's also mainly because Glory Maelstrom is an evil evolution of Maelstrom, so I thought they were going to go with Tetra Drive, but we got Glory Maelstrom, which I'm not really complaining about either, although I would also like to see Tetra Drive as well. Number 5, there's two candidates, Raging Form Dragon and Drag Ruler Phantom. Mainly because I want a final boss unit for the Revenger Blaster Dark deck, and Mordred Phantom is technically more of first ride, and one of these two would have actually fit really well as a final boss unit for the deck. Number 4, Almon. I was really expecting this card to be the main Dark Irregular card for Phantasmal Speed Restoration, especially when it's pretty much the face of Dark Irregulars. So why it was not remade beats me. Number 3, Interdimensional Dragon Bind Time Dragon. How this didn't show up in Shinemon Arc 2 beats me. I mean it was like in so many flashbacks in G, so I don't understand why this card didn't even show up in the Shinemon Arc. And it was technically also made for Gear Beast as well, which Chrono Fang Tiger is one, so I have no idea why they didn't even show it. Number 2, Sing Saber Dragon. So we got Soul Saver Dragon and Arc Saver Dragon, which is basically the combined form of Soul Saver and Sing Saber, which still has not been remade yet. Seriously, I was really hoping that this card would have been the cover card for V BT05 instead of Ganslot, because it would actually have made more sense to me, because we got Arc Saver and Soul Saver, and the only one missing was Sing Saber. So why not make all three up for a trio? Especially support for the Blaster deck. And now before going to my number one, time for some honorable mentions. Chaos Breaker Dragon. Now I know this card wasn't going to be able to just show up in the V anime because they were following the manga. But in Vanguard if, it can be likely. And I really like the design of Chaos Breaker Dragon. Blade Wing Ragey. Nakama showed up in the anime. So, why didn't he use Blade Wing Ragey? Riser Dual Flare and Mega Flare. I don't know why they showed BCD instead. I really think this should have been the card Kamui should have used instead of BCDs. Bluish Flame Liberator, Prominence Core or Glare with Aglavel. This is my favorite Gold Paladin deck out there, which is why I really wanted to see this. Although this did not really have a chance to show up, so... Do not put it on my list. And Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion the Blood. Or Crimson. 
Man, Vermilion got shafted. And now to my number one, Phantom Blaster Overlord. So first off, we got the end, and then we got Glory Maelstrom. Yes, I count that as part of the quartet. And now we got Majesty Lord Blaster. And where's the Phantom Blaster Overlord? This card would have worked really well as the final boss unit, especially if it's like rivaling against Sing Saber in a card fight between Aichi and Ren. I think it would have been much better than Ganslot and Mordred. It's just too bad they didn't decide to print these cards instead. So that's it for the video. That's my personal top 10. This is all based on my opinion. This is just what I want. So tell me in the comments on what's your top 10 that you want to see remade. Mainly the boss units.